Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you a few panning and spreading techniques that can add some serious energy and dynamics to any song. Without properly panning your sounds all around the stereo image, this can lead to your song just not reaching its full potential and sounding a little boring and dull. Right before I jump in and show you some of the coolest panning and spreading techniques that you've ever seen, did you know that you can get on-demand track feedback directly from me personally? Well, that's actually one of the main features of my music production bootcamp course linked at the top of the description below. So if you would like to learn how to produce music from scratch without struggling with melodies, song arrangement, mixing, and mastering, make sure to check out the course below and let's put you on the right path together. All right guys, so we have a piece of music here that we're going to be working with and this is what it sounds like before panning and spreading. <laughs> Now some of you might think it sounds good, but the idea with panning and spreading is it just makes things sound better. It's never wrong to not do it, but if it can make it sound better, why not experiment with it? So what we're trying to accomplish with panning is a wider, bigger, and more dynamic sound of our song. And more importantly, we're trying to help out the lead. So we're trying to get some instruments that really aren't supposed to be in the center of the mix and move them away so that they better support the lead. Also, a pretty standard rule of panning is that you wanna leave your bass, kick, snare, and your lead in the center of the stereo image and spread or pan everything else. And nothing in music is ever right or wrong, so you don't have to do that. But if you experiment with that rule, you might come up with something cool. So this song here, has a vocal and that vocal is our lead there's a lot of other instruments here that are crashing into that lead that we can just make sound better if we get it out of the way so when i was building this little piece here i started out with these chords but you can't hear the chords because they're being covered up by that lead. So what we could do is we could decide, do we wanna pan them or spread them? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spread these with a sample delay, and that makes the sound sound like this. Versus this. So you could see how wide it got, and now my lead can stay in the center and then my chords are going to be really wide so they're going to be nice and supportive out there. The next instrument that I added was this bass line. And I normally don't spread or pan bass, but I wanted to try something anyway. So I added an echo plugin at a speed of 1 8th. So these fractions on a delay plugin or an echo plugin mean for every one bar there's going to be 8 echoes within that bar. So watch what happens without the echo on this bass versus with the echo. We got a lot of width and wideness just from doing that. And so this bass line with our chords <laughs> just sound tough. The next instrument I added was this arpeggiator here. So since this arp is not a kick, bass, snare, or lead, I'm going to want to spread this or pan it. Arps are cool because they're very rhythmic. So what I like to do is I like to add a tremolo to them. I'm going to use one of my favorite tremolo plugins called Shaperbox 2. It's not actually a tremolo plugin, but it can do that job. And I'm just going to add something like this to it. What you're looking at is LFO, which is going to put the signal in the right ear and then swing it over to the left ear at some speed. And I'm gonna make it happen at a speed of one quarter. Oh yeah, that's, that's it. Wait, ready, ready? It's like going from ear to ear, like every single note is in a different ear. So without it, it's just in the center of the mix, but if we turn it on, Oh, that is wild. That's, it's game over. Now we're going to go ahead and work on the drums. And when it comes to panning and spreading, drums are like the most important things that you could do that to. 
because for some reason, properly panned drums can add some serious energy and dynamics to your mix. So I started this drum loop off with the kick and snare, and they sound like this. I don't want to pan the snare, or in this case, the clap, because that's supposed to stay in the center. But what I could do is I could take these extra hits and pan them because they're actually on a weaker part of the beat. So if I take these now, so I'll take this one and put it on its own track, and then I'll grab these two and put them on their own track, pan these to one side, doesn't matter what side, and then pan this one to the left. All of these side hits are panned. Watch this effect. All right, so the next thing I had to figure out was the hi-hats. And these hi-hats sounded best in the center because they're so loud and prominent. So I didn't have to pan them, but I still wanted more hi-hat energy flying around the stereo image. So what I did is I added this layer to the hi-hats. And instead of keeping that one in the center, I was able to spread this one by just panning it. When I was listening to that, I was like, okay, well now I'm off balance because I'm hearing a lot of stuff in the right ear, but nothing in the left. And so what I did is I complemented it by putting another hi-hat in the left ear. And these two hi-hats sound like this. So we got one in the right ear and then the other one is in the left ear so you get that balance back. One last thing I have to show you. Listen to this lead real quick. I feel like there's something we can do with this lead just to make it that much cooler. I'm going to take this part and I'm going to add that tremolo effect that we added to the ARP. So now it's bouncing from ear to ear. And so if we play everything back, I want you to pay extra attention to that sound that we just edited right there. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as much as I did. I'm actually sweating now. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.